Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today, I have for you guys something special. This is the Wahoo Kicker Bike. Uh, this bike comes in at three thousand five hundred dollars. And um, basically, I'm just going to show you guys what this bike is about, how it was to assemble, and everything you can do with it. So, to get into it, um, the bike just came into a box, standard like this. There was no seat post installed on it. I showed it here. This seat post. The only thing you really had to install on it was the. Uh, the legs right here. So it was a little bit of a two-person job because uh, just just tilting the bike, um, you have to slide this one on, and then there's two bolts on the bottom, uh, right here and here. There's only two bolts, two Allen keys. They give you the tools to put on, and on the other side, I just took the bike as well and just kind of pushed it up like that and slid on the other one and did that too. And then with the seat post, it is just a quick release right here. Undo it. The seat post goes up and down and takes out. And same for the front as well. It's just a drop down handlebar like this. They give you your own handlebars, the shifters, everything's wrapped. And this literally just slides into place. And you plug in the shifters right into the bottom right here to get the controls. Underneath here as well is a USB charging port. So if you don't want to have like your phone or something else charging here, it gives you an option for charging port. Um, power plug-in is to the rear. And then on the crank arm right here, you can see they have different crank lengths, which is really cool. 165, 167.5, 170. 172.5 and as well 175 um, so depending if you're taller shorter whatever you're gonna be uh, you have the option it does include a water bottle cage which is a nice little feature and then right here you can adjust the fore and aft for the bike seat and also the front as well so if we take this just put a little bit of pressure right here now this part can actually move forward or backwards and same with the rear just pushes forward and this can move in or out so the cool thing is to that is that if you do get a bike you know and you want to use this as a training bike um you can match up pretty well i would just recommend getting your own saddle match the saddle that you're riding on your bike at home put that on here and then basically just take the measurements from home you know do a, a measurement from the center of the crank up to the saddle um you can do the four aft by getting like a, a ruler and doing it from the tip of the nose saddle everything like that so there are options to match this up exactly like your bike. And then, uh, yeah, you can you can have a, 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 a insanely nice Peloton different option bicycle at home. The benefit to this as well is that this will work with Zwift or training core as well. So um, let's, say you, let's say you didn't want to use it for Zwift though. You just want to use it for a training bike. You do have right here, let me pedal real quick. So you can see right here, you have an LED display and there's a locked and a locked mode. Um, when riding, it'll tell you your current gears. The lock setting will be you adjusting the gradient with the shifter. So see here now how it's going up and down. You can put all the way up to a 20% gradient, which is insane. And you do that by these two buttons right here. Or you can go down to, I think, a negative 12 degree. So going downhill. And while riding those in those positions, um, it will get more resistance or less resistance depending on where you're going. Same for speed. I'm gonna get on the bike real quick. So while riding it, you can shift gears. And so see right there, that's the front derailleur. So the two up top, that's the front derailleur. So that's one, that's like having a double chain ring. That's two, that's your hard chain ring. I'm gonna switch cameras like this. Now I'm going to go, it's one, and go all the way to, you know, wherever you wanna go. It goes all the way up to 11. So I'll give you a two by 11 speed on there too. Very cool. That's in the lock position. If we do press it and go to the unlock position, uh, that will be hooked up to Zwift, and that's where the gradient would automatically um, adjust to where it is GPS-wise on the on the trail or or uh, game. So, like if you're on Zwift and you're riding in London, the gradient will match to the GPS, and the bike would move up and down like so. Let's watch. So it's going down right now, or we're gonna go down to this. See the gradient moving, very cool feature. So uh, a lot of options you could do. When plugged in, it's always gonna also give you a power meter, it's gonna tell you your cadence, it's gonna tell you your speed, uh, it's gonna tell you everything you're gonna wanna know on it. Uh, price on it, like I said, is $3,500. I know that is a steep price when they have Peloton out there, but this gives you so much more options in terms of fitability and also what else you can get to, like, to match up to your bike specifically. So. There's a lot more options you can do to make it exactly like your bike and train similar to what you're riding instead of getting on a Peloton and matching up with that.
especially with crank links and, and different saddle positions and drop handlebars, everything like that. Um, I was gonna say, you can change out the saddle. You can change out the stem too if you like, but I don't see the, the difference of it because you can always mimic that with the fore and aft position. So there's not a big demand for that. But if you really want to get technical, you can change out the stem, the bars, whatever you want it to do. Uh, this stuff is all interchangeable. You'll just have to change out the, the wrap job yourself. But the shifters are included, the saddles included. You get these nice plastic pedals. Those are included for free and a wire ball cage as well. So all very nice points they add to the bike. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you guys kind of like the owner's manual. It gets very easy assembly. It's literally just this one owner's manual. It's super simple, step by step. Right here. Those are all the parts it comes with. So that's all I was telling you. The legs, it gives you two tools. There's only four bolts total, an AC plug-in, handlebar, and, and C post, and that's how the bike comes. It is a heavy box. You're gonna need someone to kind of help you get into the house. But once it's in there, very simple. And it tells you everything you need to know. So if you guys are thinking about it and you're scared about setting it up, don't be, it's very easy. Also has Wi-Fi so you can uh, connect it to the computer for the Zwift program app. Instead of like, I know um, I know like some of the trainers, like the kicker, you might need a, a plug-in for it. This is Wi-Fi now, so that way you don't have to worry about it and uh, it can direct directly connect to your computer. So all you have to have is just that one cable plug-in for a wall outlet. But very nice bike. Let me know what you guys think about this bike down in the uh, comments below if you guys are thinking about getting one. Um, also, let me know if you think it's worth $3,500. I know there are other options out there. I mean, you could buy the kicker. Um, you could buy the kicker trainer for that much money for like 1100 bucks and buy some upgrades. But I think this is a really cool option. It's, it, it's, it's really nice for them to give you something so customizable, especially for cyclists who want to train that hard and spend that much money. This is a great tool to have. And with the COVID pandemic going on right now, this is a definitely a good idea to invest in something like this. So get some rides at home, stay safe, you know, don't have to go to gym. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Real quick guys as well, um, on this bike, you don't have to worry about uh, the bike moving on itself. Um, this thing is very sturdy. It's not gonna move. So if you are sprinting on the bike or training at home or anything like that, very, very, very sturdy. And as well, I have to say this, if you guys are gonna use it for Zwift, I believe there is an annual subscription to that or a monthly subscription. So put that into the price of $3,500 as well. But all said and done, very nice training bike. Granted, it is three times the price of the Wahoo Kicker, which you can use your own bike. But that way, if you don't wanna have to put your bike in a trainer, take it off, put your bike in a trainer, take it off. Um, you can have this set at home as like a secondary bike and then have your main bike out for the road. So keep that in mind. I'll see you guys later. Bye.